Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we're over at the Minnetonka location. I'm excited to get the chance to work with Larry Bobker, another fellow fitter, and also Quintex. So Quintex can be very, very interesting to take a look at and learn about my putting issues. So Larry, tell me some of the stuff we're gonna be focusing on today with regards to numbers and then taking a look at my putting in general. Okay, well, Quintex for, for people that don't know is basically we call it the track man for putting. It's going to give us all the information as far as why you're putting poorly or why you're putting well. Okay. So what the numbers are going to tell us, it's just like, it's just like track man, we're going to get a ball speed, make sure that you're striking it at the correct speed. We're going to get a launch angle, we're going to get a forward or back spin rate, and we're going to get a side spin rate. The reason that's important is we need the golf ball to be come out of the grass, get on top of the grass, and get turning over, okay? If it's not turning over, it's back spinning, it causes speed-related issues. And if it's got a lot of side spin, then it's directional-related issues. So it's really important that we know and understand the numbers so when we're looking at a putter style for you or a loft for you or is it a stroke-related thing for you, we can really dissect it and help you become a better putter. Yeah, that, that's awesome. So for golfers watching today, we've got a little bit of construction going on around us. Uh, so you may hear a couple of noises here as, as well. What we're going to do is we're going to explain the whole fitting process and what we worked on today to improve my putting. And golfers, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great content coming out your way. Okay, Larry, I need you to fix my putting. I have not had less than 30 putts in probably 12, 15 rounds. All summer, I feel like I've been hitting it pretty solid. Just haven't get, got the results I'd be needing out of the golf course. Okay. So, is it, does it feel like it's line or speed, or you're just not hitting putts solid? I'm not hitting putts solid. I've been missing quite a lot of short putts left. Okay. I feel like they've just been kind of diving to the left side of the green, lipping them out, or even just missing the left hole completely. Um, the speed's been okay, but especially on the faster greens, I've had some issues holding some shorter putts. Okay. Well, let's put you on Quintech. Let's take a look at what the numbers are, get, are showing us, and then we can kind of make a decision where we're going to go from there. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So, you know, Quintech, the great thing about Quintech, I've been working with Quintech for five years now. I mean, virtually it's the track man of putting. It gives us all the information. Putters, great putters have great numbers, okay? So we'll hit a few putts, we'll look at your numbers, I'll kind of explain the numbers to you and where we need to go from there. Okay, okay? sounds good. So let me get you set up here. All right, you're gonna roll me a putt. Uh, perfect speed, Thomas, would be if it misses the hole, it barely touches that, that background right there. So okay. when you're ready, go ahead. Okay. We know you're going to make a lot of putts since you're a very accomplished player. But here's the bad news. Okay. So if we take a look at these numbers, Launch angle, we're looking for a launch angle somewhere between one and two degrees. What does that mean? Ball kind of sits down in the grass a little bit. We want to get it on top of the grass and turning over, okay? That's where when you see the best putters, the best players on TV on the PGA Tour where the ball just seems like it just keeps steamrolling to the hole, okay? Forward spin or backward spin? We're looking for at least 15 RPMs of forward spin. Unfortunately, Thomas, you have 39 RPMs of backspin. So what does that mean? Coming off the putter, you're launching the ball. It has backspin. It has to hit the ground. Then it kind of grabs. Then it skids. Then it turns over. Every golf ball, no matter how bad you hit it, is going to go to true roll. The problem is how long does it take to get to that true roll? And like you said, some three or four footers, your golf ball's in transition you're not going to make you're not going to make many putts okay your speed's not going to be good it's not going to break the way you think it's going to break so that's where we're struggling the good news is we're looking for side spin at 10 or less 
you being the good player that you are, you're going to hit it pretty squarely on the back of the ball. The only problem is it looks like a chip shot instead of a putt. Okay? <laughs> But you can't tell that unless you have a Quintec. And, you know, second swing here in Minnetonka is the only, is the only Quintec in the state of Minnesota. The, the naked eye can't see this. You know, when you got the wrong loft on a driver, you can see it fly too high. Okay, or if it's too low loft, you can see it fly low. So that's why we have Quintec here to help people with their putting. Yeah, my launch angle at over six degrees, that is quite surprising. Th yeah. That is very, very high, I believe. That's almost like the driver launch angle. Well, it is, and the problem is, you know, you're hitting it here eight feet on a very smooth putting surface. You get out and hit a 30-footer or a 40-footer uphill on a slower green, you might even launch it higher than that. I mean, it, it's really going to cause some some inconsistencies. You know, some days the greens match up, the putts match up, you play well. You know, yep. you know you play well, you win golf tournaments. But on the other side, there's days where you go out and putt and you feel like you can't make anything, right? That's, that's because the numbers aren't good. So we need to make your numbers good. We need to take some loft off your putter. Okay, so it's interesting you say take loft off the putter. I've been putting with an arm lock putter for, you know, last maybe year and a half. Right. Typically, arm lock putters have a little bit more loft on them Correct. At, at setup. And I think this has got seven degrees when I just, I had it ordered at seven degrees. Yep. Because I feel like I arm lock forward press a little bit. But right. clearly, that's a lot of loft. Well, you know? yeah. And it, and it all depends on your style. I mean, some people that arm lock like to forward press a lot. You don't forward press a lot. You're fairly neutral with your arm lock setup. So just buying an arm lock putter at seven degrees doesn't work for you. I mean, the three most important clubs in your bag that have the right loft in order are putter, driver, sandwich, okay? So we gotta get the right loft on the putter for your style. I don't want you to have to change your style to match up with the putter. We're gonna match the putter to your style. So let's, okay. let's take some loft I'll off I'll let you it. do some magic here. Okay. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the loft from seven degrees down to around four degrees. Based on his launch conditions, I think a three degree change is a good place for us to start from. So uh, most people bend it with bars, but after 39 years of working on golf clubs, I just, I just bend it with my hands. So we're down to four degrees now, and we're going to have him hit some putts and see what, it, see what it looks like. I've bent that putter to four degrees. Based on that 6.5, this is kind of my first shot, my first thought on where we need to be. So I need you to set up, just keep doing what you're doing, and let's see, where, let's see where it, uh, what kind of numbers we can create okay. just by changing that loft three degrees. I can definitely notice a big difference already at setup. I don't see as much of that white face right. looking down at the putter. So we've made a three degree change. We brought the launch angle down to 2.98. Okay, not quite, not perfect just yet, but instead of having 39 RPMs of backspin, we have 52 RPMs of overspin, okay? Little touch of side spin, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. So let's hit another one and okay. let's see where we're at. You know, one of the things too, I think that because you haven't put, putted well, I'd like you to feel like your hands lead the powder face a little bit more, okay? One of the most common flaws that I see for years is the putter head is, is leading the hands, okay? okay? And I tell people, hey, you wouldn't hit your five iron feeling like the face is ahead of your hands. Don't hit your putts that way. So you got to have that feeling that your hands are leading the putter face through. Okay. Much better. Still a little bit. So we're probably going to take another degree of loft off that putter. We've got better overspin again. We've brought your side spin down a little bit. So let me take and take another degree of loft off this putter. Okay. And we'll get that launch angle perfect. So we're currently at four degrees. 
and we're going to go down to three degrees. So the good news is we're getting closer. Do the putts feel a little more solid? I can notice the ball is rolling faster off the face and definitely looks like it's diving in the hole. Absolutely. That's one of the, that's one of the, the feelings that you're going to get because your ball has been launching and backspinning. You've been hitting it harder. You've had to apply more energy to it to get it to the hole. Now you're going to find out one of the things you're going to have to do after you leave here is do a little bit of speed work because the ball's going to come off the face a little bit faster and it's going to roll out a little bit more. So the energy needed to say hit a 15 footer isn't going to be as much anymore, which also helps you keep the face square and make more putts. I'm glad you brought that up because I have a, an event that I'm going to go play in and I know the greens are going to be pretty fast here in a couple of weeks. So speed work is going to be very important. Yeah, I mean, speed, I mean speed, is, speed is everything. I mean, if you spend time, you know, as I teach some of the PGA Tour players and some of the kids from the U, you know, they play on very fast greens. I mean, you can't play at that kind of level like you know without having control of your speed because it just makes it so hard to make putts. All right, let's see what we do now. Beautiful roll on that. So there you go. So we've got our launch angle down. Overspin, where you were, where you had backspin, now we've got 88 RPMs of overspin. And when it comes up as a yellow number like that, just kind of like a stoplight, just a little warning that, hey, maybe it's a little bit too much. Okay. Okay. But as you can see, our axis bar is much better. The ball's rolling much better. We have a little bit of side spin. You have a little tendency to hit the ball off the toe a little bit. You have a little bit of reroute in your putting stroke. So grab the golf ball. We'll fix that right here. Would that be the cause for me missing it a little bit to the left? Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. And especially, okay. when you were, especially when you were launching it high, think about this. You were making, you were making a low toe strike with too much loft. Where's it going to go? It's, it's, got, go it's, got, it's, got, it's got to go straight left. Yep. So that is definite explanation. So put that ball down there. So at this distance, Thomas, at eight feet and in, okay, even though it's not a straight back, straight through because the putter's on an angle and it's going to arc a little bit, it needs to feel straight back, straight through. You know, it's, it's the whole golf thing of feel and real. The feel is, it's straight back, straight through. Theoretically, is it? Not really. But if you're feeling like the putter's working inside, then it's working inside too much. I think some of that's come because of the bad loft on the putter. So you've been trying to create ball roll. Okay. Okay? You don't have to create that ball roll. So I want you to feel like the putter comes back a little bit straighter and you hold the face through impact a little longer. Okay. So, it's, it's one of my favorite terms in golf. You got a, you got a little bit of scar tissue we got to get rid of. <laughs> Very nice stroke there. And there you go. Now we have perfect launch, we have perfect overspin, and we have perfect side spin. So that's why it's so important to get fit for your putter because you could go out there and practice for an hour, two hours. You practice a lot practicing the wrong things. You know, I'll use another one of my favorite analogies. It's been, you've been trying to eat soup with a fork. Doesn't work, okay? You've been trying, 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 trying to create it, but the club hasn't fit you. Now we've got a club that fits you. You can go practice. You can understand what it takes to hit a solid putt now. Now you can become a better putter. And the big thing for you is a more consistent putter. Okay, um, so a question on drills for me to work on to keep that putter a little more straighter coming through and not catch it off the toe of the putter. Yeah. What would you recommend? Well, I would, I would definitely work on um, if wherever you practice at, if you can, if you can snap a chalk line, that's, that's one of the best because then you can look with the alignment aid and with the putter, you can see the face working up and back. I recommend that for people like Three to four feet is a perfect place, you know, especially where you felt like you've struggled a little bit. 
with that, with that distance, I would, you know, snap a chalk line from three or four feet. You know, you can put a ruler down. You know, the putting stick is a, is a great thing from three or four feet. Because that's going to help you feel like the putter's going to work straighter back and straighter through. The other thing I would do, because we've made such a dramatic change in your loft, you need to do some speed work. You need to get out there and drop some golf balls at 15, 20, 40, 30 feet and see what kind of energy it takes to roll the ball. Okay, that's going to be the big thing. So I, for you, 25%, 25% path work, 75% speed work right now. Okay. Well, I do own the putting stick. So yep. I do have a chalk line. That's one of my favorite drills to, to use. Yep. I have noticed with the putting stick, the tendency of the ball to fall off the left side a lot. So that makes complete sense. Yeah, and that's, and, and that's really mostly been loft created. It's not you created, you know, you're an accomplished player. You know, how to, you know how to putt, you know how to stroke the ball, but some things have crept into your putting because of a poor fit. You know, and that, that happens all the time. You know, I, I get customers in here that say, geez, I've never putted well for 30 or 40 years. Well, did you ever get fit for a putter? What's your putter? You know, they bring in, they bring in three different styles with three different lofts, three different lengths, three different weights. How do you know, you know, <laughs> in, 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 you know, one, you know, one round they play this, one round they play this, one round they play, I mean, that's like taking, that's like going off the rack and buying three different drivers at three different lofts with three different shaft flexes and, and rotating them every time you play golf. You wouldn't think of doing that, but people think of doing it with a putter. So, yeah. you know, that's why, that's why it was so important for a second swing to, to get a Quintech and understand, you know, all the major manufacturers design their putters based on Quintech. Most of the, the top putting teachers are teaching it. You know, Mickelson was talking about how well he's putting now because of it. Uh, there, there's so much, um, there's so much advantage to understanding your numbers, not just your putting stroke. Paul Hurrion, who designed the Quintech, we talk up and back about great putters, okay, and people that putt well and people that putt poorly. We've never seen someone who's considered a great putter to have bad Quintech numbers. Okay, so that's why it's important because there's different strokes. You know, you get guys like Crenshaw and Faxon that kind of arc it a little bit more than others. Dave Stockton's very straight back, straight through. You even have guys like Hale Irwin and Lauren Roberts that take the putter a little bit outside and square the face. So there's different styles of putting. I mean, there's a different style. For as many people, there's a different style. You know, we're all, we all have our own style of putting, but the important thing is that the numbers come off the putter correctly, okay? It doesn't, you just can't have a beautiful stroke. You've got to have a putting stroke that creates numbers like this, and we're going to see that your putting is going to get better and better because your numbers are going to be better. Yeah, these, these Quintech numbers were really eye-opening to me. Uh, in conclusion, we switched my putter from seven degrees aloft all the way down to three degrees aloft to decrease my launch angle. Originally, I was launching the ball at about six degrees with the putter, which is way too much. We reduced it down to one to two degrees, which is in a much more optimal range. I also was able to get that ball to now kick top spin on it, as opposed to having back spin on the ball. So I was able to get some overspin on the ball to get that ball to come off the putter and dive into the hole as opposed to bouncing and skidding off, off the ground there as well. So for me, my takeaway is I'm going to need to work on my speed work, definitely going to need to work on my path a little bit to try and get that ball to come off the putter straighter, but by getting the loft on the putter much more accurate and knowing that this putter still is a good fit for me, I just needed to change the specs around. I have full confidence now knowing that I can go down to my next event. Larry, thank you so much for your time today. Golfers out there, if you need a putter fitting, come into Second Swing stores, or you can always talk to one of our putter fitters online as well, or at secondswing.com. Thanks for watching.